In this video I'm going to show you how to add new bank accounts in and set up your bank feeds and also manage your VAT within the software. So firstly all we need to do is log back into our account. So I'm just going to go back into Chrome, go back through to the HM Williams website, go to our bookkeeping login on the top right hand side, pop in my username and password and my memorable word and now I'm back into my software. So, on the left hand side, um, all we need to do is just click on the bank icon and we'll see I've already got a couple of bank accounts set up in here. At the top right hand side, to add a new account, all we do is click on this button and then we can call the account whatever we want, so this is going to be my expense account. It automatically creates the next account code and we can also put a, a little icon in here for that account. We can put in any starting balances and also the reconciliation date. So any items after this date will show in the bank. So I'm just going to go through here and say this bank account was actually started in March. So all transactions after March are going to show in this account and click save. And that account has now been added. And we can see if we go to our dashboard, we can see all of our bank accounts listed here and we'll be able to see the balances of all of those when we start using the system. So if I go to bank on the left hand side, all I need to do to add in manual transactions is just go to the view and add button. Once in here, we'll see a little box at the top of the screen which says add transaction and all we need to do is put in a date um, and a code where it needs to be posted to. So to do that, all I do is just change the date, change the code, so let's say I'm just going to record a train. Um, that I caught, so I can just go to travel and as I say, I've got a train to Leeds and then how much it was and then just put in the VAT details and just click this plus sign at the end and that will add in that transaction into your bank. So it's just a case of going in, repeating that process, so putting in the date, um, we're just going to say we've got some interest and they got paid back into our bank, so typing in a comment here and money in, no VAT needed on that, plus, and that will add that in to our bank. So we can see our closing balance in here as well, so we can see that listed. If we need to make any amendments to those transactions, if you've made any mistakes, then you can actually just click into that transaction and then just go and change the date, where it needs to be posted to, the VAT, etc. And you can just change that and update it, and that transaction will save within the system. We can now see that when we go back to our bank area, we can see we've got a balance of minus £142 on that account. And if we go to our front dashboard, we'll be able to see that the current account reflects that and also it's reflect how much money is available within the business. So if I go back into bank now, um, we're going to show you how to set up bank feeds, which is a way that you can actually link the software to your online banking system um, so you can pull through your statements directly. So all we do, we've got this activate button, if you just click on activate next to the account you want to set up, and this will come through to the activation screen. So we've got a whole list of bank accounts here. So let's say I was banking with Lloyds and I click select next to Lloyds. I need to key in my online banking user ID, password, memorable information and just click login and then I'll choose the account that's associated with that to link that up. So if we just go back, um, I'm going to go and activate that. Uh, but I'm going to set it up with my demo account. Click select on the right hand side and put in my login credentials. And then my password. And login. So this is going to go away to my bank um, and it's going to make sure that the credentials are correct so I can choose which bank account that I actually want to match this one up to uh, within my bookkeeping software. So the account's loaded and we can see I've got my business account, I've got a savings account and I've got a current account in here. We're actually going to link this up to my current account so I just press select and that is now linked. So I can now see the last four digits on the account and we can see a bank balance in there as well, uh, which is as of yesterday. 
Um, we can also go and disconnect the account if I don't want it linked anymore, or I could update it if I've changed my login credentials. Um, at no point can you or anybody else see the actual login information within the software. So next step is just a case of going in and put in a date range. So I'm just going to go uh, April 2014 last year, and I'm going to go until the 30th of April and load those transactions in. Oh, I put 2015, let me just change that to 2014 and load again. And now we can see this is April's statement from last year. So everything on the left hand side is coming directly from my bank, but what I need to do, I need to tell it where it needs to be posted to within the accounting software. So this is interest down the bottom and we can see the money's come in, so I can say match. Now. There's no transactions in the system because we're actually using our statement as a starting point. Okay, So we're not adding in manually the way I showed you before. We're going to do everything from the bank statement. So I need to go and create that transaction within the software. So all I do is go create transaction and then all I do is type interest and it comes up with where I need to post it to and then we choose the VAT amount and create and that's where it's going to post to. And we just repeat that process so we can see I've got my rent going out. So I go and create a new transaction and then I can post that to rent and then create. So it's just a case of going through your statement and matching these off um, and then that's effectively going to do the majority of your bookkeeping all in one go. But there's a quicker way to do this um, and that's we've got something called matching rules within the software which does automatic matching. So to do that, all we do is we go at the top and we click into matching rules. So we've got an auto assign rule in that's already set up, which basically means if you've got sales or purchase invoices in the system, when you import the bank statement, it's going to best guess and automatically match those payments against the relevant transactions. But we can set up our own rules. So if I just click create in the top right hand side, and this is our create a new rule screen. So basically, instead of having to go and match every time, if I just say every time I see money coming in, and in my bank statement it says interest, I want you to go and post that transaction against interest. And then I can just give that rule a name and save. And we just go and repeat this process, so we would just look at our bank statement, so every time I say see money going out uh, that says rent, I want you to post a transaction directly against my rent code, um, 20% and rent, save. Okay, so we would just repeat that process. Now when we go down to our bank feed and we go back in to April 2014 and load the same set of data we just did and click load, we will now see that those two transactions have matched up automatically which has cut down the time that I need to take doing my bookkeeping because it's all the repeat transactions that are going to come through on a regular basis. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pop out of here and just go into invoices. So I'm going to create a new invoice and I'm just going to add a line and we're going to add a value of £2050 in here and the issue date I'm just going to put through as April 2014 the 30th. Okay, and I'm just going to save that. Also, if we go down to purchases and just generate a new purchase invoice, just add a new line item to this. I'm just going to put £100 in here. And the issue date was April 2014 on the 8th, and click save. So we've added in a couple of transactions there. So now if I go back into my bank on the left hand side, we can now see that activate button has changed to import. So I can just click on import and then just go and put the date in here. So we're going to go from April the 1st again through to the end of April and load those transactions through. We can see on this top transaction here that it's automatically assigned this payment to the invoice we just created because the invoice was for the same date so it's assuming that transaction matches up against that invoice. We've also seen money coming out for £100 that's automatically matched that against that purchase invoice as well. So it'll automatically pick up within the software what's what. Now for instance if that wasn't to pay off that purchase invoice and was actually to pay off the purchase invoice below I can just press cross and cross that out 
and then we can go to match. And then when I go to match, it's going to bring up all the purchase invoices in the system, and I can say it was actually for that one there, and assign, and just change that. So it's just a case of it will pick up automatically, or you can manually match them across. So I'm just going to go match some transactions here. So we're just going to post this against uh, materials purchased, create. And I'm going to go match this one here. I'm just going to match this one at the moment to other. Because if you didn't know where that needed to be got, needed to go yet, you can post it to other and then you can correct that at a later time. And I'm just going to go and match this one um, against materials purchased as well. And create. So once you're happy that everything on the left hand side is correct and it's posted to the right place on the right hand side, then all you need to do at the top of the screen is just go to import now. That's now imported seven transactions, nothing failed, nothing was ignored. And now if I go into my bank and search for that period and press go, we can see everything we've just imported and everything is posted. So rather than having to go and add transactions manually on a daily basis, at the end of the day or the end of the week, you can just go and key these in and it will just pull the information straight through from your bank. We can also make amendments so we can still change these as we did earlier. So I can still click into this transaction and say I can reallocate that where it needs to go to just by changing the code and clicking update um, and that will change within the bank area and I can update that transaction straight away. Okay, So that's how easy it is to make amendments and changes within the software. The next step would be to reconcile. So I can either reconcile the statement at the top here or if I go in back into the bank area on the left hand side we'll now have the option to reconcile. So if I click reconcile all I need to do is make sure the statement end balance matches um, what's on my banking so our statement end balance was £259.05p and click start and then we can see now that all of our buttons are ticked because these little cogs show that the transaction has been matched from our bank feed and because it's coming from the bank it means our bookkeeping has got to be correct. If for any reason something was unticked um, then it wouldn't highlight through on the reconciliation uh, but you can also make amendments through the software as well so if anything needs to be changed on this reconciliation we can just go make that amendment. And the left to clear amount will need to be zero and match off before we can actually save and reconcile. So I'm just going to save and reconcile that. And that account is now reconciled. So we can now see that that account's gone reconciled and we can see the balance in there as well. And that's how easy it is to manage your bank and your bank accounts. And now if we go through to the bank area, we can see that. And if we go through to our dashboard now, we can now see the balance of that account and it's changed the overall money that's available within the business. So that's how we can manage our bank accounts and banking within the software.